Hello there, uh, so my name's Bobby Beasley. I work with my family at a clothes shop um, based in Hull. Um, yeah, we've been, we've been going since 1978, um, selling vintage clothing imported directly from the States. I think it's funny that, because you know, we've been, we've been going for a long time. So like we've got families that sort of, you know, that when they were students at art college, so when my dad set it up back in the day with my mum, that, you know, he'd just come out of art college and got some contacts with sort of uh, American second hand clothes and army surplus and uh, just started to do sort of, it was, it was cheap fashion and just accessible. So people just used to flock to us just to get Levi's and yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. And with that, that just brought all of these really regular customers that then they've grown up, they've had kids and then their kids have found it in the yeah, same sort yeah, of way. Yeah. And like now you're kind of getting third generation sort of coming in, which yeah. is great. It's just lovely. I, I love that. And it's, yeah. it's always been a bit of a, a kind of a, a kind of a hub for people just getting together with being in this side of town and the college and things like that. I've, I think we've always just we've always just tried to sort of stick to what we started doing and um, and sort of built on other brands around that so we've always thought well we'd just stick with you know American vintage um, and then bringing in sort of sort of current labels alongside it so sort of, seems to sort of fit quite well with that um, I think just our sort of yeah just I think it just sort of came natural that sort of progression just to sort of bring new clothes alongside the vintage clothes yeah yeah uh, something like that I don't know yeah Oh, we also do um, sort of our, well, our because of the label's been going so long. So, sorry, I should say label. I should say like <laughs> the name has been going so long with the bags and things like that. It was quite nice to sort of incorporate screen printing and get T-shirts going alongside that um, sort of part of the brand. So um, that side of things as well, sort of working with artists, printing stuff, putting it on that kind of keeps it unique in its own right. You know. Yeah, it's just it, it's just a really nice not to be kind of I know you're sort of looking after yourself, and that's something to be proud of. We've always kind of like you know I kind of grew up with my mum and dad always kind of you know with that thing just being independent from everyone else it means we could do what we wanted to do, um, how we want to do it. So it's that's it's a really nice feeling. It's something to be proud of, you know. So that's like you know if it's it's quite a buzz as well. So sort of, you know so. Sort of, making sure this sort of things sort of, you know, just, yeah, but it's, uh, I think it has just been, it's just, it is just great working with the family because it can be, you know, you can, uh, you can just be as honest with each other as you possibly want, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't have to kind of hold back on yeah. how things are. Yeah, so, well, when mum and dad first set up, it was in the market in the old town. Um, King's Market. Um, it was the outdoor market and then the indoor market, and uh, it, it's always been based in the old town. Um, there was a kind of a change around of like where King's Market was; it had to close, um, and it, you know, the market had to move. Um, but for a short while, while there was that transition of the market actually moving, we kind of had to find somewhere else as well. So this unit came up, and I was quite young when this. It was in '95. I remember like them looking down here and it's just what we're having the joke shop and Larry's and you know there's all sorts of you know it's just I don't know it just felt really nice sort of growing up here um, so yeah like and it's funny because it's kind of it's always just been in my opinion the best part of town sort of the old town the most sort of like I don't know it's got the most kind of unique quality to it and uh, so yeah, at, like now, um, just as pro like things progress, you know, the indoor market gets done up. It's got some amazing independent food shops. Um, we've still got Dinsdale's opposite us, which is just incredible because it's like you know one of the oldest shops around here. Um, yeah, it just feels really nice. It's a lovely. It's a good sense of community as well. I think the things like what we sell is always things that it's easy to sell something that you're into. Mm. So I've always been interested in fashion, 
um, growing up with mum and dad sort of with the American side of vintage clothing that whole sort of thing and their friends uh, that stun markets in London it's it's all sort of sort of rubs off on that sort of feeling of the shop you know sort of still got that market feel still sort of selling a real wide spread of clothing that's just caters for everyone like I was saying earlier it's that sort of feeling where you've you know if you're getting sort of third generation people coming in you're still getting first generation lot of people like they're still always buying the Levi's uh, it's like I think that's it just having a really nice spread of stuff really nice spread of people coming in that's that's what inspires us to kind of keep doing what we're doing Ah, oh, so, yeah, what is it? So outside of work, um, I'm really keen sort of photographer. Um, and I think that sort of comes up, it sits alongside Beasley's in itself, just because of being in this part of town, people coming in and out of the shop. I, you know, it's, it's lovely to sort of chat to people and uh, that sort of, sort of ties in with my photography work because, you know, I like to do a lot of street photography. I like to do a lot of creative photography. So it all sort of ties in really, I think, you know, with, mm. you know, sort of work and social. I think just, um, I don't know, it's, that's, that's a tricky one, because like, mm. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think working, like, still having the shop running strong, sort of, you know, from 1978 to now, that's, that's mm. something that I'm really, you know, really proud of. Um, and it, you know, uh, yeah, I guess. and I think with me sort of photography side of things, you know, that seems to be going quite well because of, you know, like we're saying with the shop and sort of moving forward. So, yeah, that's a tricky one for me to answer, but yeah. I think with, with fashion, um, it's always a challenge because you're always you're always having to move forwards and it's not saying that you're trying to keep incredibly like current or anything but just making sure that you keep things moving um it's sort of that comes in waves you know um so it's a constant sort of uh you know i mean actually looking at it this pandemic that's hit that's been insane because when that hit um we were always laughing and joking because if we had to do any decorating in the shop, um, we'd have to have the shop open first thing on a Monday. We'd never be able to close. We'd never closed a day, you know, like that was this sort of thing. We'd always managed to get cover. So, um, you know, yeah, like I, just not having to close the shop um, just for this sort of point. I think when we last painted the ceiling, it was just like, right, we've got to be in for like, we were, we were here till like two in the morning and like, it was on the phone to my dad saying, we're just about finishing and he's been coming in and out. It's like, we're just gonna to have to sort it out and get the shop open for 10 in the morning. So we managed to get the shop done. and We're just sort of there, you know, but uh, that's sort of basic level. But in the pandemic sort of here, it was kind of like, oh shit, we are actually gonna to have to shut. Um, yeah, we've never done this, you know, um, thinking it was two weeks and then sort of riding that on and, with that happening, the challenge being trying to keep our heads above the water, get an internet thing going, try and make sales over there. And it almost feels like now we're back out of it, uh, there's more of a swing for kind of people seeing independent yeah. shopping and a bit more, you know, I think people are cooped up for a long time. So it's really nice, it's a really positive thing coming back and having people coming in. And uh, I think that if we could get through that, then, you know, Oh, yeah, um, I think I sort of mentioned it before. I think you've just got to be, you've got to be passionate about the thing that you want to do, whether it's sell or promote or whatever. I think if it's not in you, then I don't think, I think you'll find it hard. Um, so yeah, like uh, it's easy to sell something that you really like to sell. You know, if that comes, you know, people, other people, you know, see that. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me ramble. <laughs> That's it.